All right, so just want to quickly share with you in very few minutes on how to actually search for a supervisor. So you've already decided the program you want to do, you've already decided the school, and then so just to search, let's say we're looking for University of, um, let's say we're doing University of Beta, for example, and then what you want to do is to click on the school. And then you go to uh, graduate admission programs. You go to search graduate programs. Then you go to you can choose any faculty, any any one of your choice, and see what they offer. So I'm just going to be using biochemistry as an example here. So you go to biochemistry. So this is actually the same for every department that you want to search or any school. It's still the same process search in google and just continue and then you can see sometimes on the department even post um research positions that are available for example now, i didn't know this was there but if i click on it now you can see um what and what are available so now this person is looking for someone for phd masters phd phd masters phd you can just copy the man's name here and then um send an email okay and then so that's it for that so another way you can do is to go to the program website and then you can just read through everything we already talked about that and then go to research and look at disease focus and you can see each of the different diseases um different researchers you've already decided what you want to do let's assume you will you like cancer research for example so you see all these people that are into cancer you click on Chris, you click, click on this um, guy, then you see his research. So if it's something that you like, his email is here. Then you can send him an email. Then you can also want to check PubMed um, to see his research. research. You can click on display by, uh, let's say, most recent. And then... You can see some of his recent publication 2019 2018 it's not very recent but it's still okay so it's basically, it's basically how you do if you're not interested you, you just move on maybe you're interested in the basic research you click on um, this guy and then so you kind of see everything if you, are, you read through his research interest then if it's something you are interested in you can also click on PubMed to see his research, you know, his email is all there. You can see some of his graduate student, postdoc student, his research assistants and, and all that. Then you can also search all other um, um, classific, depends on what you want to do. Okay, let's say you want to try University of um, University of Saskatchewan, for example, University of Saskatchewan is basically the same process. You just search, go to admissions, go to graduate programs, so you can see masters, PhD, PhD, and everything here. So if you go to biochemistry, for example, let's let me use, let's use nutrition. If you go to nutrition, then just click on nutrition, and then you see or oh, you read all their research programs. You discover that they require a supervisor. So you can see these are the research areas, and then these are the professors that are in those areas. So based on what you've already decided you want to do. Let's say I like nutritional epidemiology and then I click on this, I click on this man and then I see his area of interest and I go to his website and then I see, okay, so these are, this is the area of, of so sometimes they have their personal website, you can click on it, see who they are about, what they do, the vision, the mission, the students and, and all that, you can see. These are the research that are available. You can see um, the graduate students that are there. So if you like his research, you can go to, if you want to know his recent papers, then so you can just click his, uh, copy his name, 
go to PubMed. So PubMed is a database for most of the research. PubMed and then you go to PubMed. So you just paste this name over there in the search and then you search. So you can see his recent research um, 20, 2020, 2020. You know, this one too is 2020. Uh, 2020 so you can just read the first five paper just to kind of have an idea of the recent papers that they have in the lab once you've done that the next thing is to write an email i just want to show you um tips on university of saskatchewan they have a tip and uh, just a little bit of a breakdown on how exactly you so you can see um read the professor's web page you know check out any online publication if you know understand the admission processes and all that writing tips they're all here um the first part is introduce yourself just tell oh my name is um so so, -so. i'm from i'm finished from the university of so and so and i did biochemistry and this is my cgpa and i'm interested to start a master's or a phd in fall of 2020 or winter 2021 then you just talk about oh uh this is like an example but don't copy this please don't copy this it's just an example so you can say oh um i read a couple of your recent papers and i really i'm really like them i'm really very interested in your research and every recent paper that talked about effect of this of this and i found out this but it will be interesting to look at this. It's like you're suggesting something, right? But some, some programs also require to write a one-page proposal, but not a lot, right? And then you can see, talk about yourself, like, you know, okay, I did some courses in my undergrad, yeah, um, this course, this course, that fit into your area of research. Then I always like to mention this at the beginning of the, just, declaring what you want and the program you want which is phd or masters i want to begin in so so semester and i want to work under your i want to work under your supervision then you can say attached is my attached is my cv and my um, and my transcript as as much as as much as possible and so, but some don't require it other initial but i always recommend people to add it along as much as they can so that's basically it um yes yeah, so all right so thank you for watching that wonderful video um so if you've not subscribed, just do it to click on the subscribe button um, right below. It is free and there is no cost. Just subscribe so that you can get notifications when new videos are posted. And then if you are thinking of getting a supervisor and then you are trying to compose an email, I can also guide you as, as much as I can. Um, just message me on send me a, me um, a message on messenger just say oh i'm trying to get supervisor um compose this email and then i want to get a bit of a guide and and just want someone to look through it i will not write the email for you and once you've written the email you can then message me um so that i can look through your email before sending the email just share this video. Someone might need this information. Share this video to your timeline on Facebook, um, on all other social media. And then just tell your friends to, to subscribe. Invite your friends to watch the video to subscribe so we can get as many subscribers as possible so that I get, I don't get paid. I don't get paid for doing this. I'm doing this because of you because I want you to be able to achieve your dreams as much as I po as much as possible uh, you know so just like um, subscribe and then share and if you want to contact me I'm giving an assignment um, you make sure you subscribe and then make sure you have shared this video to your timeline and then also tell your friends to share after you have done that then you can just message me and just tell me what I've subscribed and I've also shared. 
and I'm looking forward to getting a little bit of a guide on how to you know structure my emails and all that then you can explain your your situation to me and then we can see how we can go around things and then I see how much I can help you all right thank you see you next video don't forget to subscribe